Okay, this is the first Game Detectives playthrough that we're doing for the channel. We're doing, uh, we're gonna do a co-op of Banjo-Tooie, which is one of our favorite games. Obviously. It is, uh, the Bottles Revenge mode, which was deleted, I guess, or scrapped sometime during development. Yep. But we have a Game Shark, and we're using that to access it. Wait, don't we want to get the, the Goldfish? <laughs> uh, we'd like to get the Goldfish, but we do need the Bill Drill for oh, David, if you remember. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot. I we'll we'll have to come back here because I think there's a part where you get a Jinjo with the talent torpedo up there too, or that you get something from that. Oh, okay. And you get the game pack sort of. So we've never really played through this before with bottles or devil bottles. So we're gonna see. Okay. Yeah. David right now is playing as the devil. I'm playing as Banjo. We'll switch back and forth as we do it. Yep. Um, he can control enemies, which can attack me and other enemies, I believe. I think so. Let me see. He can't come back there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when there's we'll two figure enemies it out. around. The hole that Grumpy was in. Um, we're going to try and do 100% for the most part. We might not get every empty honeycomb or Cheeto page, but we're going to try and get all the jiggies and whatnot. Yeah. We'll see if we can beat Canary Mary. That's like the, that's the <laughs> David, one thing. David, that's 100% on you. I hope that's you know the that. one thing I could not get as a kid. That and Grunty and Mr. Okay, oh. so I can kill you when you're doing that. I was yep. just testing that out. Uh, I think... He goes away when you do bosses. We'll see what happens. Yeah, here. I think so too. From what I've seen, maybe I'll just like hang out. Ah, oh, yeah, we got this radar here, so we can always see where you are and where the enemies are. Um, I don't know if we're gonna. Wait, we got invisibility, giant, and clones. Yeah, I don't think I'm needed here. See you later. Now I wonder if that's something they did want to include into the final thing, because that seems kind of abrupt. That it seems kind of like a cop out they did there. Yeah. So I wonder when they were developing the mode, they did want to have bosses controllable. Because it wouldn't have been that difficult. Yeah, I don't think so. With Old King Cole or Target Azan, yeah. it would have been easy. Maybe with Mr. Patch, we'll see. We can figure that out as we go through it as well. I think Invisibility is the only one of these that's like, actually, I don't want to say difficult, but... Yeah, none easy. of these are really that hard. We've already made it farther than the very first time I played this game as a kid, because <laughs> I could not find this cave. Even though there was a cutscene that... Isn't in this video, oh, but doing there's a cutscene okay. that was, I already got you know. It. Yeah, there was a cutscene. We skipped the opening cutscene because it's about seven minutes, and I was having some trouble earlier when I was testing this that it would crash if I did that. So we're just starting from here. We'll still have the cutscene when we see jingling and whatnot and at the end, but that's pretty much it. I mean, everybody loves jingling, obviously. They can get as much as possible. Now, how many times would you say you've played through Banjo-Tooie? Um, I've played through it at least twice. I would say probably three times. I've probably... I've never 100%ed it. I don't think. I've only 100%ed it the last time. And again, because of Canary Mary. <laughs> the first two times, I did everything but Canary Mary. I probably played through it five or six times. I It's now a thing that I try to do every year. I just did it. I've already done it, actually, this year. Oh, yeah. So I do have some stuff fresh on the mind. I don't... Think will, I think everything will Yeah, I'm going to be a little way. rusty. I haven't played this for a couple of years. I so. know Mayhem Temple, Glitter Gulch Mine, which you roll on me very easy. Grunty yep. Industries, that's, that's me. On you, that's when I, me. When I play, usually I skip all, maybe except for two of Grunty's Industries jiggies, and then I skip Canary Mary. No, you don't get. Do you get it? Yeah, you do. From Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah. There's one other that I always skip. I can't think of what it is right now. Now, this is strange that Jam Jars gives you that little info there before you even... Yeah, I, would, I, I remember I was super confused the first time, because I was like seven years old, and I'm like, what's this guy? Well, I was confused for the opening cutscene, because I played this before I played Kazooie. So I didn't Rookie under mistake. I didn't understand who Bottles was or why it mattered that he was dead. Um, oh, I just went out the wrong window. Oh, thing. wow. Um... Yeah, I because when you're a kid and you see it, you see, oh, there's a cute little bear on the front and stuff. You don't get that it's two because it's two. You just there's the Jinjo Village. Got to activate the warp portal. Oh, it's a silo, David. Excuse me. I um I like the Jinjo mechanic better in this game. I think it works better. I do better. too. Yeah, and I like there's different card ones. The Minjos keeps you on your toes. Yep. Oh, I have something to actually do. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got the... I forgot about that. I wonder, I think when you're the cow... Oh, can I... No, I think I need the gripper to get yep, that. Yep, you do. And then I want to I... see if I can... I want to see if I can... Um, here, go back. Oh, okay. I want to see if I can fight other enemies. Okay. Just uh, to check. 
Yeah, the you, it's kind of like um, Mumbo's Mountain, where this first level throws a lot of really good moves at you. Why does he have sparkles? Oh, sparkles means you can change to him, that's what it is. Yeah. Now, you running at the exact same speed as the other guy is showing you. Giving us some issues okay. here. Eh, we're not no. gonna worry about it. Oh. We'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Yep. Alright. Um, I usually get all the Jinjos, I think, when I play through this, because yep. it's not really that difficult. It's not that difficult. It does work a lot better than the first one, mm -hmm. just because it makes it a little more... Okay, it connects me, the world to Try being this guy, what can you do? You can swoop at me. Can you change your altitude? Uh, no. Yeah, it's, so. it's still neat. Okay, we'll go talk to Jingling up here. No, they throw some good moves. They give you the grip grab, which is probably this game's most useful move. It's like this game's equivalent of talent trot. Yeah. It's something you would hope or think would be already in the game, because it's weird. If you think about it, you it don't really weird. need it. Because Super, like Super Mario 64 has a grab mechanic, so mm -hmm. it's, it wasn't hard to do. But you don't need it in Banjo-Kazooie. No. Per se. But in this game, you certainly do. And that's not just for the things specifically intended to be using it. Yeah. Now, I wonder, why do we have... King Jingling here? Why? Wouldn't it be interesting if there was, at least it was the Jinjonator or sort any reference to the Jinjonator in this game? No, there is not. Because they, they build it up at the end of Kazooie to be this sort of, um... All-powerful <laughs> being. Yeah, but there is... I mean, he's gone the way of Tootie. Yep. I think... They... Well, what was their official description for that? <laughs> Tootie's was, in the... Yeah, uh... I was reading an article and Tootie, the official disclosure from Rare is that she's in the rubbish character bin. That's where the Jinjonator is. And she's in there Must with uh, Mingella and Blabelda, too. Oh, what can you do? They only let a certain, uh, very important group of characters make it into Nuts and Bolts. And it was Captain Blubber, Boggy, um, Jolly Roger, who was redesigned. And it was very strange to redesign. Very different? He has, like, pink hair. And, like, uh, oh. he's... Oh, no, he changed it. He's Jolly Dodger. And he's, like, uh, he deals jiggies. Oh, it's it's weird. He's not a gay sailor, which is extremely disappointing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you can really only be so progressive. Yeah, exactly. In a game like Nuts and Bolts, they oh they redesigned Humba to look <coughs> less like a uh, Native American. Oh, that's probably a good thing. I almost and I don't know. But then again, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what to say on that. It's like, yeah, it's just she's. In a world full of magical creatures and beings, she is literally just a Native American. Yep. But when I was a kid, I didn't think anything yeah. of it. And it's yeah. a, it is a kid's game at the end of the day. Yep. I certainly, some people say Mumbo is racist. I certainly don't think that's the case. I don't understand how. Like, because, like, if you're, if you're a kid <laughs> and you see this, like, yeah. you don't know anything about, like, no, that no, kind of stuff. No, not at all. Not bad for a king. Uh-oh. Does Banjo have a thing against monarchies? Let's go. Let's go tell uh, Catherine the Great. She's <laughs> not going to be happy about this. Jimmy Lady. That pink creature he had on like his coat. I don't understand is that. that. In, is it in Kazooie? Because I feel like it's in there somewhere. I don't think it is. I know I've seen it before. Maybe it's in this game at another point. Maybe. The one thing... Here's the one thing about Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. It can get a little annoying in the beginning because there's some cutscenes. That can get pretty There's long. about probably 10 minutes, 12 minutes of cutscenes there. And then you never have another one. Which That's I, true. This game is certainly, I mean, it's not like, you know... It's, it's definitely not the worst game in terms of cutscenes. Well, it's not It's not a story-based game, but it certainly tries to be more so than Kazooie. Yeah. Which was very, very simple. That's the that's the whole theme that you'll see throughout this playthrough end of this game, is just, it is Banjo-Kazooie, but bigger, darker, and I would say more difficult. Yeah, it's, it's more difficult. Even, like, even in less so, like, there's less platforming challenges per se, but there's definitely more puzzles... Like, in Banjo-Kazooie, yep. the puzzles were very basic, like, yep. matching and colors and go yep. here. This, you have to do some thinking. You could not... I think if you were playing this for the first time, you would have to look, especially a lot of the ladder jiggies, up or talk to someone who's played it. Yeah. Or really sort of use those, uh, those brain powers there. Yeah. I really... The uh, grunty design is fun. I like, I like Skeleton I like Grunty. It. I actually, again, because it's what I saw first, I like Skeleton Grunty than more than Witch Grunty. I, I, I like Witch Grunty because it makes sense. Like, it wouldn't yeah. make sense to have her be a skeleton right away, I don't think. Yeah, but that's, but again, this is fun. Another, another spark of my confusion is a child. And this is where she stops rhyming, I believe, yeah. which is disappointing. But she doesn't talk that much in this game. She that's doesn't true. do any of, like, the diet. 
Maybe, yeah, she doesn't do the voiceovers as you're going through the layer. I think once or... I think maybe when you do some mini games, especially in Witchy World, she says some things. Yeah. But in the Isle of Hags, there's really nothing. No. Which is a bit disappointing. In fact, the... I couldn't even tell you what the Isle of Hags music is right now. Um... Do, 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 no, that's... That's Grunty's Lair. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how much I know it. Um... What is it? Is it... Yeah, see, that is, that's what it is. But it's, uh, I don't know. There's a lot... Well, I guess we'll have to see what played there, but from what I can remember, there's a lot less use of the channel fade in this. I know when you get close to a level, it does the um, channel fade of oh, the yeah, music. Oh, yeah, I love that. That's but, one of my favorite But ones. I'm just saying, it's utilized a lot less in this game, I think, specifically in level. Yeah. Because, like, in... I'm just thinking of Mumbo's Mountain. There was probably six or seven distinct sections you could go to. Yeah. That had different variations of the theme. Yeah. yeah. Mayhem Temple, it, from what I can remember, it all seems like the same. Maybe... I think there's different music for the temple and for other stuff, but it's not, you know, theme variations like that. I, that, find, it in, I find it interesting that she calls him the traitor jingling. Yeah, is there... Is there I don't a know if there's story a... Go? Maybe well, there's a... Um, an embittered... Uh, love well, triangle. Well, they ran through the gray Jinjo's house, didn't they? So she obviously yeah. has some sort of... And I guess she yeah. did get beat by Jinjo's in the last game. So That's I guess true. he was an animosity. What I want to know is more about the rival between the moles and the Jinjo's. Because they have some sort of big kickball game yeah. going on. Yeah. What's that? What's that cat? That cat... Well, there's a cat in Nuts and Bolts, too. But I think it's supposed to be a different character. It's Again, it's kind of strange. Yeah, I'm just ready to get into... I, we gotta get through these cutscenes and just yeah, get into um, Mayhem Temple. Because yeah. we can get nine Jiggies, I think, going right into Mayhem Temple. Yes, yes we can. And we can set up one to get when we go to Glitter Gulch Mine. Alright, yeah, I think so. The okay. rat. Definitely. The rat in the cage. With the... Uh, you, you'll see, it's got the yeah. lamp thing on its head. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go... Through his wife. Yeah. Oh, there was some boom, channel boom, fade boom, right there. I was, maybe I was wrong. Boom, 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 boom. There's a lot of graphical touches that they've put in. Like, you can see when Banjo's going around, his backpack actually hops. Yep, with that's nice. And the roll Kazooie comes out, and you don't lose your momentum, like we talked about. Yep, Although, most importantly. I, who had this portrait of bottles first? Because this is identical to the portrait that Banjo had in his house. I don't know. <laughs> Did he get two, and he's like, I'm going to hang one in my house and give one to Banjo? Maybe. Or maybe Banjo saw it, took a picture of it, and then made a portrait of that. You never know. I like <laughs> this character's design. It's funny. Yeah, there have a, there's a lot of characters in this game. Definitely more so than Kazooie. Yeah. Most of them... I, I think most of the characters have pretty good definitive qualities. Besides, like, obviously, you know, the kids. From, like, Boggy's kids. Or... <laughs> Why does he have bad guys in his house? Like, in his bedroom. Uh, I'm a good type. Also, I also appreciate that the homing, or whatever you want to call it, the map on the bottom right, um, is an egg, which I think is fun. Yeah, it seems like, I don't know, it seems like they put a lot of time into this that was just a quick cut. I don't know, like, yeah. I, I, from what I know, there's no official, and he's got the little Donkey Kong plushie. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. It is. I think we have to talk, yeah, we have to talk to him so we can get our looking at things. Yeah. I forgot exactly what they're used for, but you have to give them... Yeah, you have to give them... Like, they give you glasses or something. And it's just, like, camera stuff. Yeah, I think we... If I'm not mistaken, yeah, yep. I think we need it. And then I think we have to talk mm -hmm. to the other kid. Uh, that's fine. I think the other kid just opens the door, and he's wearing, like, the Ash Ketchum hat. Yep. Yep, there we go. He's got his perfect dark poster up there. Yep. I specky. What was the other kid's name? I don't even know. I don't remember. Waiting the kickball there. Kickball is huge. Is kickball a big thing in like Great Britain? Like England? I don't think so. I, I maybe, they, maybe they just saw an episode of Recess before they started. <laughs> and they're just like, they, it's like subconsciously they're just thinking about kickball. I, I can see that. I was, I was never that into Recess, but I definitely saw the movie and I liked it. Oh, I love that show so much. It's so good. Yeah, okay, we king dingling. Ah, dangling, okay. Okay, well, <laughs> we haven't really done any big adventuring yet, but I think we're going to cut off our first episode here.
and take it fresh in the uh, wooded hollow up yep, here when we come back. Hollow. Hopefully, Island we'll Hanks. be able to start getting some. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, also, this Jiggy Wiggy shows up. You know, we'll before you actually meet him. We'll, t- we'll but... talk about Jiggy Wiggy because I, I got some problems with. Him, but we'll we'll come back in the next part. Yeah. Okay, we're done.